Almost got me there. Alright, yeah, so that was a bit of a learning game. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that this board is going to be frustrating. <laughs> if this board frustrates you, then I think all of Dominion frustrates you. I disagree. No, like, there are things about this board that there are qualitative differences between this board. Qualitative and differences, huh? Not qualitative differences. This board has qualities in it that are much stronger. That exist in all of Dominion, but that are very strong and prominent and in this board. There's Like, that eliminates pretty much all chance in the game. No, it doesn't. Like, there's still, like, there's a, there's a point where you're, like, both opponents are going to trash down. And then both opponents are going to have sort of a distribution of cost I'm, in their deck. I'm not going to trash down. Uh, then you're going to lose. Oh, a lot. let's yeah. go. Okay. Let's go, Brosif. All right. I'm ready. I will not get. I will get zero lookouts this game. Yeah, I think the turn one Nomad Cape is still pretty good, and I get to hit five with it, so that's pretty good too. I'm still going to beat you. <laughs> Very striking coriander hair. Quite attractive. Come on, go go. Oh, sweet. I, this is a really good turn three. Oh, snap. Found your capital. Yeah. And I yeah, have three extra left over to get a lookout. So, normally, I, I was going to be denied the lookout this shuffle, but uh, I'm not going to be, because I got, like, optimal. Um, Better inherit Nomad Camp. Yeah. It's probably the best one. Alright. If I win this... If you win this, this is great. But if I win this, we have to put an asterisk by it, because this is too lucky for me. Like, this is just... Way too perfect. All skill. No, it wasn't. Like things went absolutely optimally. Yeah. That's not supposed to you happen. Make your own shuffle luck. <laughs> what do you mean it's not supposed <coughs> to happen? Like, it's not supposed to go that well. But I got a turn. I got turn two hit five with a no with a Yolo Nomad camp on turn one. Then turn three, I found my Nomad camp and my capital, and then got inheritance and lookout. Like that's way too efficient. Watch me lose somehow. That'll be great. Yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, I'll certainly congratulate you if you manage to win. For yeah, you. That's right. Um, I want lookout and Can I put a silver in the deck at this point. You could buy a curse. You want to make sure you have something to trash to your lookout. I remember you were complaining about that. Right. That was a luck. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you do in the game is luck, if you look at it that way. <laughs> um, I'm trolling a little bit. Just not by a whole lot. Uh, ah. Ah. Hi, puppy. Blah. Blah. Hi, Lexi. How are Gain you? Gain an estate. Gain an estate. <coughs> you know, Lookout actually helps you win early chariot races, too. It could help you win early chariot races, too. Trashing does that. It decreases well, the luck factor. Yeah. No, it also like lets you put an expensive thing on top. Oh, okay. <laughs> like I just did. Well, I mean, that's also true. I don't know if you know this, but trashing cards is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm, like, not going to do it this game, and I'm still going to win. But, other than that, yeah. That's right, Pupper. I have two silvers in the deck, and I think that's all I want this game. For now. I mean, until we get close to end game. Do I get the charm? Or do I already go? I've got time for the charm, right? Uh, okay. 
I don't really feel like I'm in any kind of hurry right now. Um... not blowing bubbles of victory, though. You haven't earned those. So I was, uh... You haven't earned those bubbles. Because I'm drinking this Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel Tropical Smash, which is... I mean, I'm gonna finish the 12-pack, so that's about how good it is. I don't plan to buy another 12-pack. Do I put a gold in the deck now? Probably. I'm going to be contesting you on Dutchy Duke, yeah. He's going to be contesting me on Dutchy Duke. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to. turn. I didn't see neither of my charms. I was like, do I really want the estate that badly? And I was like, I do kind of want it, but that feels kind of bad now. Um... Oh well. I don't know. I feel like getting a lot of the states is great for this deck, because it takes away a big source of points for him. <clears throat> yeah, that part's annoying. feel like... What did you get? Oh, you had to use the charm to hit five. I feel like I can't lose from here. And let's grab a duchy. That capital. That's it's good for you have, one thing. You have seven coppers in your deck. Like what the hell? I have seven coppers out of thirty-four cards. Ugh. And not very many of them cost five. There's uh, like there's like capital and two three, duchies. Three duchies? Three du well there are two charms. Yeah. So six out of thirty four. I mean it's more likely I had a copper, but like really you should expect to hit like a silver state most times. Not a fiver, which is what I revealed. <laughs> You'll have your turns, Jake, don't worry. Like, when you think about it, like, this game's gonna go on for a few turns. And, like, you're gonna find a fiver on some of those turns. Oops. Uh, you're gonna find a fiver on some of those turns. And then you're gonna find a copper on some of those turns. And then, like, you're gonna find the state of silver on, like, half of them. I think, I think that was fortunate for you. Because later in the game, you'll probably be playing more chariot races, and you want the copper on those turns. There you go. No, but on those turns, I'm going to keep revealing that capital. Because that's no, no, just no, what's going to... Just on that turn. If you <laughs> no, it's going to keep capital happening. capital later, too, then you can whine. Oh, I will. Well, don't worry. <laughs> You're going to whine regardless, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, I but mean, like... We I'm all gonna have to do what we're best at. I understand. I, I get it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> So many duchies. I have a VP token. Nice. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at this game. I'm just saying. Wow, that's a lot of states in my hand. Feels great. 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play the lookout. Trash that. that. Put that back on top. Get a groundskeeper. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, hang on. I didn't realize something. I need to get that touchy. Oh. Yeah. Okay, sure. That's fine. <clears throat> oh. Did I just lose? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> that's just me being dumb. I grant this undue request. All right, well, that was just, that was me being, that was me not saying I was a that. little aggressive on estates, but, the, like... I, that was really bad of me. I feel like I couldn't uh, lose that game. I think that I was probably going to win if I didn't do that. Oh, okay. No, I really do think that. I really don't think you were in as nearly as strong a position as you thought you were. Oh, I think I was in... We went 50-50 on duchies. Five of them. No, you did not. I'm pretty sure I got. Five. I got that so that you wouldn't have five of them, and I think that might have even been my fifth. I don't know, but like you definitely didn't get five, and um, you might have gotten five with that one, and uh, I had way more chariot race scoring capacity than you, but I had I mean, some pretty good province scoring capacity. I'll tell you. I really don't think that you were actually going to win that game, like because the chariot. Between Chariot Race and Groundskeeper, I think, I don't know. You might have won, but it would have been a lot closer. And we'll see. Well, no, we won't, because we can't recreate that game, but. Oh, we can, I think. Oh, we could. Yeah, we actually can. Okay, I inherited Chariot Race by a lookout. What was that? Oh, I won a cherry race. Oh, snap. Look at you revealing copper. Are you glad that that happened? Uh, yeah. And I also could have won a second one if I were better at the game. Uh, I hate it when I'm bad at Dominion. It's just the worst. Man. I know. Oh, wow. Look at that. There you go. Okay. Um, I'd probably get Potion Ironworks. Mm. Gosh darn it. Yeah, better trash the potion. Well, I, I wasn't going to trash any of the other things. You have an ironworks? Yes. You have two ironworks. I have one ironworks. Oh, I set one aside to inherit it. All right, let's rebuy this potion. I think you should have trashed the ironworks. No. He says no. I really don't. I think you. I think I want the ironworks. I think you want the potion more. I might have wanted to trash the estate. That that I could have seen be a thing. Oh, that was the worst option. Eh, maybe maybe. What am I buying? Uh, trashing potion is the worst option. I could get a groundskeeper or gold. And I think I have to go with the gold for econ, but no, I don't really. It's kind of important to get to my potion and get more groundskeepers later. So let's get the groundskeeper now so that I... 
play my ironworks and didn't need to gain an estate with that second ironworks, right? Yeah, I could have gained a silver. And what, not played it, your nomad camp? Five. Yeah, not played the nomad camp. I could have hit five. That would have been smarter. Uh, it's too bad I didn't do that. Oops. Uh, let's buy this card. I mean, there's validity to what you, If you want to undo and do it, you can. Yeah. Um, there's validity to what you did do, though, because... The estates are actually being contested. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. I guess I really can't blame my, anybody but myself too much for that one. But there are still a bunch of coppers in my deck. Why do you I wish I could disable time? like the little side thingies that I keep accidentally hitting that cause me to go back in the browser. Like That would be pretty sweet. I should figure out how to do that. I wish I could disable you having a fiber on top. This is like, you've hit, like, a copper 10,000 times. I don't feel bad for you. Yes, let's get a duchy. No, that seems bad. I'd rather pay off five death than a duchy, because I'm about to shuffle. Yeah, let's be smart. I lost a chariot race. I'm entitled to win all my chariot races, damn it. You reveal the copper. No matter what, when you reveal a copper, you're going to lose. I'm entitled. Okay. All right, so do I go groundskeeper, groundskeeper, or expand chariot race? Um, don't have a university yet. Uh, I should have bought an estate. Whatever. Didn't draw a silver. Would have liked to draw a silver. Oh well. Okay. YOLO lookout. I'm not super YOLO because there was a copper in there. Stop! Having a fiver on top. Wow, that's my capital. Yeah. Do some work. Look Hello, at you. puppy. There, there's your copper hand. Yeah. Copper hand. And I've played two lookouts and been forced to trash good things, and I still have like four or five coppers in my deck. No, I, I got two lookouts. I had to trash one early. There are nine in the supply, sir. Yeah, I had to put one back. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> yeah, whenever you reveal a lookout to lookout, you have to put the... Uh, if you trash the lookout, you have to put that back in the supply. Yeah. That's how that works, yeah. I remember those rules. <laughs> Pretty hardcore stuff, man. on top of the deck. Okay. Alright. Um... Two duchies. He got two duchies. 
You haven't gotten a look at it all. No, I didn't. You do have five duchies. Um, <clears throat> I think I just pay off debt. I'm gonna draw the saddest popper of all time. Or you haven't gotten a look out. Is that what I said? Did I say cherry rice? I don't know, have you found Charm to be good here? Have you ever gotten to use the gain effect? Um, not against a human opponent. Fuck. Okay. Well, it's a tad annoying. But you do have... I'm starting to think that capital for inheritance might not be the best. Like, in the deck I'm playing, I'm starting to think that maybe if you want inheritance, you don't get capital for it? I'm not sure. I don't know. I really like capital. It gets you there so quickly. I mean, in your deck, it's certainly good. But if you're gonna just go right for Dutchy Duke, it's a lot less good. Fuck. I hate that one debt. The debt is the debt is pretty annoying. Um Thinking about a nomad camp actually. Yeah. Eh. Isn't there a dog on that card? Yeah. No, actually the nomad camp doesn't the, help. The me dog's either. right there. Like there's definitely a dog on the card. game didn't go nearly as well. <clears throat> like, maybe if you can hit five on turn two, you do it. So Dukes are only two points for me. No, they're three points. Trace pointers. Do I grab one? Does that mean I take one? Uh, I don't think so. Well, okay. You definitely don't get a Duke. Yeah, I think it's the gold instead. Uh, I was thinking groundskeeper, but maybe gold's fine. I need Econ that's not capital. I'm not super paying close attention to your deck. I... I think, I think I needed uh, the gold in my deck right now. I also need something that has a chance of baiting your fibers, because now you have enough of them that I'm gonna lose chariot races a lot if I don't have sixes and sevens in my deck somewhere. Like you have enough duchies that it's a really it's a real threat that you have one on top every turn. Got that capital too. Yeah, and, man. A, and a dude, two dudes. Got eight fibers in my deck of thirty-eight cards, so one in every like four to five turns. So a hundred percent chance that you're gonna have one on top. So hundred percent chance. Hold yeah. on, why did I do that? that was... <laughs> why am I gonna pay off five debt when I just buy another dude? Okay. <clears throat> Oh, that copper, that delicious, yeah, delicious copper on top of my deck. I mean, the thing is, like, Cherry, like, I don't know if you can afford not to thin here, because, like, even though you, if you have a bunch, like, a single turn of, like, your opponent getting to play a bunch of Cherry races on you is potentially game-losing. I don't know. I'm not saying it is right now. I'm saying it can be. Um, do I turn this capital into... Not a capital, yes. 
into a province? Anything. Unless it's another capital. <laughs> Probably an improvement. <coughs> well, it's duchy in a province or capital in a province. Well, maybe potion and curse aren't an improvement. I think everything oh. else is an improvement. I declined to trash the capital earlier because I was trashing the potion. That's the only reason I haven't trashed it sooner. And at this point, I was just... Meh. All right. Um... Another groundskeeper, maybe. Oh, you have 55 points. <laughs> That's true. You probably just pass all the rest of your turn. Yeah, so you can get the rest of the dukes. Okay, well, I think, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up from here. Really? Yeah. I think it was 50-50. I'm behind by 12 points. How am I going to make that up? Uh, Duke, Duke, Duke. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Not ready, not ready, not ready. Can you, how do you... I was in six debt. How do you unresign? Oh, I thought you were saying you weren't ready to resign. No. Uh, Alright. Load old game. Are we going to be able to play each other with this? Try oh. It. Yeah, try it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going back to that one thing. Yeah. Herp. Herp. Err. R. Root. Aru. Aru. Okay. So <coughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna undo back to this. Wait, aren't we where we left off? Well, we're at the end of the game. And oh, where I uh, you wanted planted to play because... uni groundskeeper and then not get the duchy because that yeah. loses. Somehow you magically know that. Well, I mean, I would probably know that, right? Like it's that's not that hard to figure you, out. You didn't know it in the game. No, but that was because I was stupid. Like okay, that... being stupid is part of the game. <laughs> I mean. How legitimate a part of it. We're testing the claim that if you had known, if you didn't do that, then you are going to win this game 100% of the time. No, I said that you weren't going to win 100% of the time. Okay, okay, you can have the ties. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh, I gotta do. I forget how many duchies I had. <laughs> you have three of them. Okay. I have zero deuteronies. <laughs> Probably should have gotten a groundskeeper there. But I wanted to figure out how many dukes I had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is you being bad part of this game? Is that uh, a thing? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's turn this capital into this province. And buy a province. Okay. Got one. Boom. Okay. You, um, you got the best of my nomad camp there. Yeah. Jake, I knew you could do it. I didn't doubt you, not even for a minute. Not even for a half of a, of a half a second. Half of a half a second? Yeah, that's right. fun see if you're allowed to cheat and go back to old games it's really good yeah. <laughs> uh, let's not allow a six player game here why not man six player chariot race sounds great we have an inheritance is here and 
so we're really close to that 11 player benchmark where everything <laughs> starts to get really broken, okay? Yeah. I don't even want to get close Wait, to Wait, why, why? Is it because it empties supply piles? Yeah, because, like, not everyone can inherit the same thing. There's... <laughs> okay. Fun. You have to find 11 people who all agree on the best inheritance target and then hit inheritance. Well, in any game, there will be one clear best inheritance target. I don't yeah. see what's so hard about agreeing on that. I don't think you'll find 11 people who can identify it, though. Oh, yeah? In the Why don't average... you go in the Dominion Discord and give any kingdom with inheritance, and I bet the first 11 people will be like... This is the correct inheritance no. target. The correct solution is to inherit this card. I don't know what that voice is, but um, we'll have to like. I, I agree it just that if you do, irritates me that like if you do I that get in the reamed for saying expert on a on a rough draft of something, but at the same time, like, <laughs> these very same people that are doing that are like the correct solution. Like they know that they, that there's nothing better than what they think. Screw that. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. No, I that was, they were that was bottled up inside. And <laughs> get it out. Oh no, I I kind of got a little snarky with them earlier in the Discord. Um, somebody was asking about rats, and I linked our like um, podcast episode on rats. I said yeah. this should be everything you need to know about this card. This is pretty exhaustive, and like they, a couple of people were like shitting on the episode, and basically Did they I, listen to it. I bet you anything they didn't listen to it. They. St- got in and listened to like select cl- they like listened to like three second like intervals and we were like quoting certain things that like they said I skipped to a what random time quote? uh well and basically what I said is like uh yeah you're right this is an earlier episode so feel free to link me the resources that you've created to help this community oh, um, I haven't I haven't found any yet but um I'm sure they're there you just need to help me find them <laughs> um so, I basically, I'm getting annoyed with these people. Like, I really try very hard. Well, okay, so not to be... how, long, how long has it been? Like, what, well, like a, less than a year. Yeah. We'll give you a year. We'll round up to a year. All right. It took me longer than a year. So, does this mean that I have more patience? No, it, it means I had more patience. Because <laughs> that patience is expired. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Tracer I says... Saw, I saw parents... So we were, you know, I noticed things that other parents do because I'm going to be a parent soon. There you go, you can and, just read uh, it. Oh, it was Tracer. <laughs> of course it was Tracer. They sort of correct things they say earlier that are wrong. That implies he listened to it. I didn't know he actually listened. I did know he listened to at least the Kingdom segment. Because he's commented on the Kingdom segments before and like disputed claims that like we made on the podcast so i know he listens to it sometimes okay. i'm pleasantly surprised i did not yeah. see that anyway yeah i mean he, he we know we knew he listened from uh from the rebuild episode on at least if you want some high quality comedy The subject is just completely different. It's not about rats anymore. It took like less than a screen, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, well, not they... all that much was said. Man, I'm so glad I'm not on that Discord anymore. But anyway. It's not... Oh well. And then. Oh. This that? came out. They start comparing rats to silver. They're basically the same card. Right? Yeah, and then. Right, get onto yeah. like they're like, you know, silver's not silver's a good card. Not silver. Silver's not a good card, and Rats is a good card. Yeah. What does that even mean? Great. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, good for them. Um, I guess oh, I'm then... glad that the people who are listening to the podcast are listening to the podcast. I, I'm not really glad that people who aren't listening to the podcast take 30 seconds out of context and think that... And think that that says anything about the content or about their expertise in of dominion in relation to ours ours yeah yeah um which that's fine yeah good for them i had some rant oh i was never mind it was about parenting and that that's long gone do you want to i want to try 
not getting capital for inheritance okay. one time. Sure. I think it have I think capital for inheritance has to be really for good. For you it definitely is. I want I I wanna see if it makes the duchy do better. Like if I do, Why? Like if I Are you thinking that capital is just a bad card for that deck? Yeah. Okay. You can't like get rid of it. I mean it's okay, but it's just not nearly as good as silver. Yeah. Have you considered getting expand in the Duchy Duke deck? I mean, I'm gonna have to hit seven twice. Because <laughs> inheritance is definitely better than expand the first time you hit seven. Well, but um, I don't know. That doesn't seem that out of the ordinary to hit seven again at some point. Oh, sweet, two dollars. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving it. Wait a second. Uh, no odds. I hit seven next turn are super low. I'm not gonna make a mistake. The state wouldn't even be fantastic. And also, like, how am I gonna land line up expand with capital in that deck? Oh, I hit seven. <laughs> Okay. Well, this doesn't test capital at all. Do you mind if I yeah. resign this? I uh, yeah. This, for, this isn't testing what I wanted to test. Yeah. If anyone's watching this, and like the reason that we were playing this matchup was so Adam could see if you can hit seven very quickly without a capital. Well, I mean, if I you don't get think the, I'm gonna hit it quickly, but right. I think it's better for the deck to just do it that way than Is it, capital in the deck. It can you hit it quickly enough without capital to not be super far behind? And uh, that doesn't test it if you get a Miracle 7 hand. Yeah, it also doesn't test it if you hit 5 with Nomad Camp, or you open 5-2, or, you know, mm -hmm. I wish I hit 5 Yeah, I mean, do you, do you want me to resign, too, because I get 5? No, you're doing early. your thing. I don't really give a crap, but I'm about to hit 5 here. Oh, you, you know just want to see how efficient your deck is? You know what? I'm not going to do it, though. I'm going to see if it's good here. I'm just going to get the Charm. Charm, just because it's strictly better than Silver. Uh, on this board, should... strictly better than silver. Well, strictly better. If you have five, it's strictly a better call. If you have five, char charm is strictly better than silver to buy. Right. Unless it's you have two buys. It's a strictly better card for my deck. Yeah. Uh, unless the pile's almost empty and you don't want to empty that. So I could get a charm. Or I could get a silver and a chariot race. Or I could get a silver and a lookout, which seems awful. Or you could get a potion just a and a copper. A copper. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm going to do this. Maybe oh, no. Iron uh, is an okay card for the deck. Maybe you... If I'm not going to take the five... Yeah, I just don't... If I'm not going to do that, then I should just open with the Ironworks and flood with Silvers from the start. What I'm doing is bad. Okay, I can get Potion and... You can deny this if you want, but I want to go back to the beginning again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just realized what I'm doing is terrible. Why? Because why am I going to put a Nomad Camp in my deck? I don't remember what I'm I did. I'm not going to take the capital on five when I'm just going to get a silver. <sighs> Putting a Nomad Cam in the deck makes no sense. I would rather put an Ironworks in the deck so I can silver flood because that's the point. Did I already get my capital? Yeah, I did. So I go capital nothing, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to remember what I did. Ooh. And... Inherited chariot race. Inherited race. That's actually like, in terms of drawing your capital turn three, that's like the worst possible way you could have done it. Yeah, it's not great. Because <sighs> now I have five and get to do nothing with it. Well, you also don't get to play any of those delicious estates. Yeah. All right, I could hit seven. Although the estates are chariot races, and we're early enough in the game that, like, winning those is weird. Like, how is that going to happen? Well, I mean, you, you don't have to draw them, right? It's better than, like, having them sit there on a turn we can't play them. <coughs> you at least get to play them as cantrips. So you can pay off your debt faster. This is true. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. 
Screw you, JSH. <laughs> what? It's your fault. <laughs> Every time uh, something goes wrong in my game, like because of a shuffle, I like to think it's JSH's fault. It basically is. Yeah, because so he. This last fight. He's stacking my deck incorrectly. Those last. Oh, that's that's Steph's fault. JSH doesn't have access to that part of the code. That's either Steph or, or Philip. How do you know who has access to what part of the code? JSH has said publicly he. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. The last, screw you, Steph. <laughs> yeah, those last five cards are Estate and Hoppers. <coughs> I think they're all Silvers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have Estate and four Silvers on top of my deck. I was briefly thinking about like top decking a Nomad Camp, so I could make sure I had seven, but I actually don't think I need to do that. I think I'm Ooh. just going to gain the Silver, gain a Charm, or do I gain a Duchy already? Charm or Duchy? The Charm's good if I ever hit 7 because of the Charm. Okay, the tr it's definitely not too uh, good yet. The Charm is definitely better, right? Okay, it's a Charm. I mean, for the record, I agree that it's too early to get a Duchy, even if you're going hard for Duchy Duke. Uh, by 4 Silver, I mean 3 Silver and a Charm. This is actually a really... I mean, it's a great hand because I hit... So I think... Wandering Winter actually did some math, and he posted it on the forums, and I think it's really interesting, like, if you just play big money with inheritance, which what I'm doing, I think is close enough that the numbers are fudgy that I can say it, but, like, you hit inheritance by this point, naturally, um, like, slightly under half of the time. Seven. But there's not really much in my deck that I want to expand. I think I just go for the duchy on this turn. Blech. <clears throat> Wait, have you inherited? You inherited Ironworks? Yeah. Something happened. You shuffled my deck for me. That's what happened. Okay. Like, why did my shuffle? I'm just confused. So you made that amazing hand miss a shuffle. Yeah. Anyway. All I skill. Think, I don't really think it affects what I do this turn. I was just wondering why, like, suddenly I was... Charm shenanigans. So, Groundskeeper speeds me up a little bit, but I need Econ really badly. Um, let's get the Groundskeeper and get Econ later. It's fine. Hashtag it's fine. Hashtag it's fine. I guess I should put it... I'll just never get a university. It's fine. You don't need Education is overrated. It's too well, I keep, I keep getting uh, my potion and hands where I dead, which is my fault. Don't get me wrong, but... Hmm. But, I mean, you can still whine about it. Yeah. Oh, and believe me, I plan to. Yeah. We all have to do what we're best at. Ah, potion. He's off zero death. Nice. Lexi is drowsing. She had a rough day yesterday because it rained and thundered pretty much all day. Also, we were like moving all sorts of stuff around the house. 
don't know if you can see this, but there's like a whole bunch of crap here because we're trying to reorganize our storage. And I bought a bunch of shelves and now it's putting the shelves together. And I installed some blinds on a ladder and we kind of had to shut the dog in the basement so she didn't accidentally flail around and bump the ladder while I was 15 feet off the ground trying to install some blinds on a window so that we can have some privacy in case my wife wants that when we have a newborn child. If you're familiar, there are reasons. Hi. What are you saying hi to? My hand. Oh. It's pretty good. Let's see if I can minion that. <laughs> That's not fun. <laughs> that was, though. I mean, I laughed at it, so. It was about that funny. I think having a gold or two in the deck is pretty important. Yeah, I think even if you're doing this, having a gold or two in the deck is pretty important. You need to be able to contest Dutchy Duke a little bit, which right. I haven't been decide, doing at all. If you decide you want to contest Dutchy Duke, then you definitely... I, I think you need to. I think you need to also. And I haven't been doing it, really. I originally thought, like, sure, you can you can just let them have their Dutchy Dukes. You can get all ten groundskeepers, inherit chariot race, and then buy all the chariot races with ten groundskeepers in play. And just keep on playing chariot races until you win. That seems bad. Yeah. But uh, I think just spamming chariot race with some good cards in the deck is, well, I mean, obviously that's better. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think I just let you get six duchies, which might be a yeah, that's duchy number six for you, so we'll see if I can come back. I have three estates, 24 points from other sources. So if that's a six point dupe, 18 point duchy, yeah, then I have six duchy. Yeah. Uh, yep. I know math. because I have math. two, and the pile's out. Math. Um, okay. Groundskeeper. Well, in any case, I feel like this deck is performing better. Granted, I won the effective coin flip where I get inheritance by that shuffle. Um, I mean, I had some other slightly poopier things happen, but hi, puppy dog. Hello. <sighs> puppy is going to go to the salon on Tuesday, mm. and she doesn't know this, but I'm going to get her a new TOY. She hasn't had a new Does she know that word? Uh, I, I mean, I don't think she knows very much in general, but I, I want it to be a surprise. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, this is... Uh, she tends to take care of her older TOYs, but okay. destroy the newer ones. So I, I think I need to get her something a little more durable. I feel like I'm in great shape. Yeah, I think so too. Um, kind of Duke. I think another thing about this is like you don't want to have too many. Ironworks's slash estate mm -hmm. ironworks is in your deck. Because then you end up just gaining a bunch of estates with it. And then they become really bad when you can't gain estates anymore. No, I might be in better shape than I thought. And like denying points to your opponent? How important is that really? I might be a oh, more look at okay you. than I thought. Having a bunch of having this many groundskeepers is Pretty effective. You have nine groundskeepers. Yeah. Have you even inherited? Mm -hmm. You did. Yeah, I inherited cherry race. Bought any estates with it? Do you trash any estates? No. Oh, you opened. Did you open five two? How did you? When did you inherit? You opened. 
capital. Oh yeah, this was this game where you had like the crappiest turn three inheritance ever. Yeah. Uh, okay, a bunch of groundskeepers is pretty good here. Uh, well, yeah, I can't win that game from here. All right. Well, we're gonna say that it makes the deck better, but yeah, the. I think um. The deck that I advocated for is actually doing somewhat well, although I wasn't super specific about the payload. I was more thinking Groundskeeper would be better as payload than Chariot Race would be. Uh, groundskeeper well, is so hard to get. I wonder the Groundskeepers are really important, but I think having a couple, and the Chariot Race is too, I think having a couple of golds in the deck enables both of it, though. Like, having a couple of golds in the deck is really important. So, I don't think you could... I don't think the deck you're building is good enough without both Cherry Race and Grounds Race. I think yeah. if you take either one away, it's not good enough, right? Yes, yeah, right. I agree. I, I agree with that. Yeah, 100%. Do you think without Inheritance? Oh, um, without Inheritance, I don't know if it changes a whole lot because you just look at... No, I don't actually think that changes. It's slightly slower. Like, I mean, it's worse, but is it like super duper worse? It's slightly slower I think because... it's worth it to go for. Right. Your lookouts have to trash estates now instead of just YOLO, instead of just rushing to trash the coppers. So, um, you could well, also... You can just get the capital. You can get, get the, the inheritance expense. and, and lightning fast trash those estates a lot of the time. If you well, high roll not, that, like, quote, really quote, far trash. ahead quote, because... Quote trash, not actual, because like actual trashing is a thing. Well, you we, can do we too. put those, we put the, that the word giant in quotes. quotation marks in the podcast. Yeah. So we're good. Uh, if you read the Still RSS covered. link in the podcast, um, it's got big quotes. I, I didn't. I, didn't. <laughs> I don't know what an RSS link is, but um, <laughs> I, <can tell>. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <coughs> I gotcha. <coughs> yeah. So I'd I'd agree with Adam. Like the deck is really really good because it has groundskeeper and chariot race if you take either one away it does not compete with duchy to big money basically and um if you take away inheritance i think it's slower but still really good because like i think uh you you still get two lookouts maybe a third i'm not convinced i think you get i oh if you take away inheritance the question of whether or not to get an expand uh leans much farther toward yes for me because I was 50-50 on it in that deck, as it was. And um, the expand feels really good if I don't have any other way to get rid of the estates. And, you know, the lookouts. Because it's really likely that by the time I get the expand at that point, I'll have estates to trash to. I don't know. I think you want the expand regardless. I think the expand's doing enough for you that's not trashing estates. So. Well, it could be a gold. And, like, normally it's, like, expand versus gold. The answer's clear based on what you're doing. But... You have one. Well, you know. I guess you don't necessarily put the capital in the deck. You don't. I. I, yeah. I well, you might put the capital in the deck for a very quick inheritance. Oh wait, we're talking about inheritance, right, if not no existence. Inheritance. Yeah, if there's no inheritance, you don't get the capital. Um. So maybe. I think the golds are a really uh, strong enabler for the chariot races. Well, you need to contest the. The dukes. The not cheese dudes. Yeah. Like if you're playing against. <laughs> eh, I, I mean. I, I, they're better than fivers that you gain with university. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there's any more matchups that I want to test. Unless we, like, want to go into the mirror and decide what's important, but, like, eh, I don't know. I don't really care about commentating on that. Yeah, I mean, so, like, in the mirror, that might not be super worth testing out because, like, what's oh, yeah, more important, yeah. chariot race versus, I want to say groundskeepers are more important than chariot race there. Because they beat Chariot Race in the Chariot Race, um, right? No dog, I heard you like Chariot. Yeah. Race. Yeah. So like, so if I put you're some Chariot Race in your Chariot, actually, spamming estates gets a lot worse in a mirror. Because Chariot Race beats a state, and like you're estates more of them though. Yeah, but it's but estates don't win. I don't. Th yeah, I don't think playing more of them means you win more of them though. In that, I'm not sure. Era. Uh, yeah, okay, I want to say in the mirror, you probably care a lot about the groundskeeper split. Alright, All right. let's play in the mirror. Okay. In the mirror. My, my hunch is that the groundskeeper split matters a lot in the mirror. I think so. everything matters a lot in the mirror. Uh, the nomad camp split does not matter in the mirror. Oh, you want to go, bra? Wait, uh, hold wait, on. where did I'm I go? I'm playing the mirror, sorry. 
let's... <laughs> Wait, let's did you just buy deck. a silver? Let's build your deck. I'm like, oh, I know what's best here. Well, I didn't think it was best. I know what I'm playing here. Wait, why does the autoplay treasure button still appear for me? That's weird. What? Um, Let me see. Click it. See what happens. It Hold just on. doesn't go away. Hey. <laughs> still there. When you click it, it doesn't do anything. Come Sorry. on, Brett. It's been, it's Bert been two years Bert. since you started this software. I'm out of patience, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm out of patience? That's a thing. So you get a Nomad Camp, and I am actually going to grab the potion. Because I want to test my theory on the... Uh, I'd like to hit five, though. These five cards are copper, so I'll hit my five next turn. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the potion. Do I get the potion now, or do I get second lookout now? Ooh, snaparoo. Hmm. How bad do I want to inherit lightning fast? Well, you're not going to inherit lightning fast. You're going for your potion already. Yeah. I'll just do the different thing. I, well, I should play my draws. No, my draws don't matter. You're probably going to hit five. Are you going to hit five? What did you open? Lookout? No, I'm not going to hit five. You Unless, hit, I gotta get lucky to hit five. Okay, uh, potion. No, you're gonna hit two potion. You're not gonna hit five. Yeah. Do I take the silver now? Um. Uh. No. So the reason I got that lookout is because. <laughs> when a man and a woman love each other. When a man and a woman. Well, uh, yeah. Or a woman and a turkey based. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is actually potentially very good. Mm. I guess I would have rather inherited before it, but other than that, it's it's a very good hand. I'm gonna play this lookout. We're gonna almost guarantee that I find capital next turn. Those five cards are three coppers, a capital. So in the five and six that I hit my capital, I'm guaranteed to have the money to get inheritance with it. So I want to top deck the lookout. And I'm like, am I going to be so paranoid that I won't find my... Well, whatever. Like, I'll find my capital and I'll inherit anyway. Whatever. I'm going to get the estate. Um, I made some pretty serious mistakes so far. Uh, notice uh, I haven't hit five yet. Yeah, well, you opened potion, so it's yeah. gonna be hard. Yeah, and like. That's the reason why I like opening Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. How many estates did you trash? None. Ooh, zero estates you trash. Have you had the chance? You I have. You've been trashing copper over a state. Yeah. I don't like that line. It's been weird. I don't know. I'm trying it. But, like, yeah, maybe this isn't a mistake. I might not. These might not be mistakes that I'm making. So, I want to see. I'm building in a particular way. You're really prioritizing the groundskeeper split is what you're doing. You're kind prioritizing of. that over everything else. Kind of. Right. That's the benefit to the way you're doing this. Right, and I think actually, I'm a, contrary to that, I'm probably about to take a chariot race with my university. Uh, possible econ. Um, well, I mean, if you want it that bad, get a nomad. 
Oh, about to play a lookout though. Play the lookout first, and there no that game. Yeah, but that would be intelligent, and I can't have that. Okay. Get that. <laughs> Where's my silver? Oh, I didn't get the silver duck. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> I don't think getting a real chariot race over in a stay is something I care about. Because it costs more. I don't think I care about that right now. I don't think I care about that ever. Let's take a silver. Okay. Uh, no. I want to get through this lookout, right? What am I doing? <coughs> How many coppers do I have? Okay. Boom! Expand! I won a chariot race with an expand. Look at me. Gonna be able to play the second expand until I buy the university. Why am I playing the second expand? That would be stupid. The potion is better. Well, potion is better than expand. Would it have been better than something else? I don't know. Let's get the capital now. you thinner than me. Oh yeah, you heard it. Right, the point of my line was to prioritize thinning, then pick up the potion theory play my universities more often. That was the, the idea. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't share your face. I said I didn't care about it, but I lied. I guess I care. So I want to get Uno more university, I think. And then I'll expand the potion next turn. So we'll expand the lookout this turn. I don't know what I'm getting. Charm? No, groundskeeper, of course. Why would I get anything else? Is that two groundskeepers? If I can get three of them, And Harriet Race. So I can get them all. Oh, can you? 
This is probably resignable on my end then. Yeah. This date. Uh, let's see. I'll play this out a little bit longer, but if it starts looking the way I'm pretty sure it's going to, um, it's probably resignable. The entire point of everything I did was to win the chariot race split, which I failed to do. Split? The groundskeeper split, yeah. yeah. Which I failed to do. We so. could play it one more time. Uh, well, I made some pretty serious mistakes. Um, even even given the line you chose, you still made mistakes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it was kind of close. Like, oh, yeah, it was... I even went first. I did really dumb stuff. Like, I didn't... Um, my... I needed to uh, hit five before the third reshuffle, which I didn't do. I did nothing to help me hit five and get an inheritance. Uh, when did my inheritance happen? I think it was like turn 10. It was uh, crazy late. So um, you had your deck in your hand and I hadn't even inherited yet. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're, uh, we're good here. Let's try this one more time. Uno mas. <clears throat> okay. Well, I would really like to open 4-3 three over 3-4, three, but, you know, you don't always get what you want. That's right. Um. Ugh. Uh. Do I go Silver Snowmad Camp? Silver Snowmad Camp? Well, I think you get Lookout over Silver for sure. That's the thing, is like, I am thinking Lookout uh, Nomad Camp, but I uh, really, really, really need to hit five in the second shuffle, and if I don't do that, I just yeah. lose. Top deck of Nomad Camp. Yeah, but with this Lookout... Alright, I'm gonna try. I think it's the best. I think it's best, but it leaves room for absolute failure. Like, there's a chance I just lose the game on the spot. You have $9 in economy? Yeah. Unless if you get really screwed. Yeah, like this. You don't know if you're screwed. I got Nomad Camp Copper Copper. Yeah. In these next... Yeah, I'm, I'm not hitting five this shuffle. Probably not. Well, if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> Mine's not going that much better. Sweet. Yeah. No fiber in the second shuffle. <clears throat> Ugh. All right. Mm, I still think you trashed the estate there. You're still going for your super hard groundskeeper line. <laughs> If you were going for super hard groundskeeper line, you would definitely trash the estate over copper. Yeah, you're right about that, actually. You still trashed the copper. No, I didn't. What? I hate this game. step at a time. <laughs> Alright. Even though that's what caused the issue last time. One more. Alright, we did it. Now trash the copper again. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be funnier. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I got the same crappy draw. No, it doesn't. Oh. I wanted to win. Um, but you can still win. <laughs> it doesn't. It makes it better for your winning if I get the crappy draw. Ah! <laughs> Jesus, are you gonna die? Yeah, if I don't fucking hit five. 
Which I'm not going to, because they got colliding nomad camps. You got a second nomad camp. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good for my throat. Do I already have a potion? How many potions you start in the supply again? I haven't any potions yet. You're the one with the potion. Okay, so there's 16 in the supply normally? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. I don't want that! I hit five. It's turn Boom. seven. Finally hit five. You did it. I'm proud of you, man. screwed by your lookouts. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> if I take the capital, though, um, and I win the chariot race, then I could get expand this turn and have all of the debt. <laughs> How confident am I that capital's going to win this chariot race? You only have one card in your whole deck that you played last turn. It's not, yeah, uh, the capital will win the chariot race. So, goodbye, no. Estate's the easiest to replace. If I play the Nomad Camp once, I've replaced the estate. So the tribe has spoken. We'll get a VP token this way. And we'll get this expand. Alright. You laughed at my two nomad camps. They were probably bad. Boom! Look out! Still win that chariot race like a frickin' boss. So things haven't been going well for me in this game. He's had some bad luck, but it's... You know, I've also had to... I think things have been... My, the, the, the more lookout and the aggressive thinning has not worked out for me, meaning that if I... Uh, if I win this, it'll say something. I'm not really sure I'm going to win it, but... I'd like to expand this. You don't have a potion, so I have two unis, right? Yeah. Alright. That's why I don't feel great about this. <laughs> oh, you just got potion. a potion now. Ooh. How good do I feel about... Oh, well. Um, okay. So... 
I'm gonna lose the chariot race probably, but oh, I win it anyway. Cool. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I was choosing between having a chance at winning a chariot race or getting a groundskeeper. And when I say it out loud, that decision seems pretty clear. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, puppy. That's a drafty doggo. Alright, down 4-0 on the old groundskeeperonies. I think they're important. I should not have bought it. Buying the estate was dumb. Oh well. No. Relevant, I guess. I think I saw like two or three coppers left. I feel like expanding the look this turn pretty good. Oh look, you have a ground scheme on top of your deck. Look at you, man. I did it. My skill put a groundskeeper on top of my deck. So the lookouts gets... do that to you. It doesn't matter that you went harder for them because they're doing bad things for you. So of course I'm going to lose this game. This isn't really testing what I wanted it to test. Cool. Let's desperately get groundskeepers. I think that's 5-5 five, five on Groundskeepers, right? I think I just got my third. Uh, uh, cross my fingers. Um... Not sure how I can win from here. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> being thinner was to like still not lose the groundskeeper split. At least that badly. I the, think the that the university's was, help enough. Well the point was to get thin and then put the potion in so you can play the uni more often. What did you do? You gain a bunch of stuff. I trashed a copper, basically. Oh. Wait, I might actually be able to win. Oh, maybe. I might have just done the three pile that I keep ignoring again. Okay, yeah. So, for the record, I have a game-winning hand in my hand, too, so... Uh, yeah, you won that game, basically. 
But. If your opponent's not an idiot, um, yeah. then winning the chariot race split is really important. Um, if Brown's your opponent is split. an idiot, you can win no matter how things go for you with your lookouts. Um, but I'm still not convinced which build is best after that game. It's tough. I'm not sure that I care enough to play it again, though. Right, I think it's close, and I think that the groundskeeper split... Ma I think one way or another, the groundskeeper split is pretty decisive in the end. How you get to it is up for debate. I think if you lose it super hard, that's decisive. Yeah. Like, if, if it's 6-4 and I have a better deck, then like I can just expand them into provinces and maybe win more chariot races. It doesn't seem great. It seems well, it's, okay. It certainly beats know. the crap out of Dutchy Duke, I think. Well, yes, I think all of this beats the crap out of Dutchy Duke. Um, yeah. 